Come join the quest with America's team. We only hunt for the biggest in fish and game. Join Trev Gowdy, America's sportsman, and the USA's winningest tournament hunter, Bill Urseth. It's all about the big one. SEI Bass Pro Shops. Horse and Hunt Adventures. Trev Gowdy's Quest for the One. It's your quest. It's our quest. Quest for the One starts now. It's Bull Elk City on Idaho's Zeph Creek. As Elk Master Sean Olson puts Bill through a grueling uphill stalk and a chance for the one. It's morning here in the Lemhi Valley in eastern Idaho. The mountains are high, the elk are plentiful. This is the area that Lewis and Clark came through and this is where they first realized that they may, they just might be successful in their venture. They had left behind Montana and the Bitterroot Mountains. They had sought their way through, up, down, all the way through that Lemhi Pass, uncertain as to where it would really lead them and what would happen. It was here, right over on the prairie, where we're gonna be hunting, that three Shoshone Indians would sell them horses, they would take a guide and they could proceed on they were hopeful that they had now found water that would lead to the Pacific Ocean. They had crossed the Continental Divide. The Limhi Valley is a beautiful, wide valley full of grass, and it's the kind of place that attracts elk. Lots of elk. A place worth hunting. It's unusual to find so many trophy bulls in such concentrations. But sometimes, Mother Nature deals you a full house. The trick in our quest as in poker is don't show your hand too early. But with so many antlers in plain view, easier said than done. It's going to be a long, physically demanding stock up and down the foothills of the Bitterroots. From a lifetime of hunting these hills, Sean has a gut feeling that the one is yet to be seen. Like this bull thinks he's a chainsaw. It's the kind of spot that they just love. They can lay up, keep cool on a hot day. It's the kind of place I like to be too, because they might show up. I'm just going to hold this stop right on the open. Oh, the damn shooting nice. gallery, huh? This is a shooting gallery, man. There's got to be 12 bulls in that herd. Yep. And it is really, really something. Here comes another one out. We found the boys' club right here. This one way to the left, that's about 310 or so. Maybe bigger, huh? Actually, we found the men's club right here. Pursuing a gold medal in a hidden valley. Coming up. sneak from this side, we're gonna be protected from the wind. And he's a lot lower than us, too. Yes, he is. So I think, I think we're okay on that front. Okay. We worked our way 
down. Sure enough, that's the smart old bugger. Had moved out while we were strategizing. In baseball, they often talk about pitch count. In Western hunting, it's more like step count. The physical demands of a long stock can affect your shooting. So you pace yourself if you can. Oh, he's still right there. He's still there, all right. And we got a chance at this thing. It turns out there's two of them. We have an embarrassment of riches at the moment, but still no shot because this sagebrush is so high. I can't see over it. I think that one is bigger than the president. I think we leave the president alone and we go for the vice president. The probability of a good hunt just became the possibility of a great hunt. And for some reason, this bull lets Bill close to within 50 yards. Nice bull. 